Hello everyone, so we have satellite imagery now confirming the US strike on Fordow nuclear enrichment facility. I have two images for you. This first one shows two areas hit as shown by the orange circle. You can see three holes highlighting the bottom one and three in the top. So, these are very accurate and precise strikes by the US Air Force. Landed three bombs each around each target area. Now, the type of bomb used here penetrates deep underground before detonating. So, Whilst the image may not look like much damage is caused, that won't be the case because these would have penetrated deep and if we reach the complex below, then this facility is going to be in a pretty bad way. Especially because, as this second image shows us, the strikes hit the ridge line. This is important because this little schematic here shows what's underneath this area. So, you can see that this area is the hub of the facility. This graphic video was shared by Ryan Intel a few years ago and it shows this enrichment facility. So, you can see that in the area that was targeted, we have the uranium storage, a pair of IR-6, and then six IR-1 cascade centrifuges, the backup power supply, and then the autoclaves. The centrifuges are the key bit here, a key part in uranium enrichment. So, the US here, hitting the major parts of the facility. Whether they penetrated this far remains to be seen though as the satellite imagery only shows the surface. But American intelligence and other sources online are saying that this facility is destroyed and that the strike was successful and penetrated it. This annotated image was also shared online. It's the same image we've seen before but with a few little markings on it to show the various areas of the strike. So we have the entry points highlighted here. On the right, the land caved inwards post strike and at the bottom, the tunnel entrances sealed with dirt, which I will get to later, as we have satellite imagery of that. Now, I'm also going to attach a video which I prepared earlier today, showing satellite imagery from before, which is worth a look at, as it shows that Iran was trying to remove equipment from here before the strike took place, and fill up the entrance tunnels as protection. Because we now have satellite imagery of the aftermath, I figured I would just attach that video on here, rather than use it as a video on its own. I'll play that one now. These first images are from 19th and 20th of June as shared by John Pollock on Twitter. This first image, you can see a line of logistical vehicles at the nuclear facility. 16 trucks can be seen here scattered out along a line, with other assorted vehicles on the light nearby. Zoomed in slightly on this one, you can see that most of these here appear to be open backed trucks, and in red, I've highlighted a bulldozer or similar. Now, it has been speculated online whether these were here to carry equipment out of the base, but I don't think that's the case as I think they'd need something a bit more specialised to transport nuclear equipment than an open backed lorry taken from the nearest construction site. These were here to likely try and build some reinforcements for the facility, which is evidenced by this image here from the 21st, showing that the entrance tunnels have been filled in with dirt. So, Iran seemingly tried to use dirt to cover the entrances in preparation for the strike and make this facility better protected. Now, call me a cynic, but I don't think filling the holes in with dirt is going to do much to prevent this facility from being destroyed by a flight of B-2 bombers dropping a bunch of £30,000 bunker buster bombs. I think dirt will be even less effective than Russia's cope ties that they put on their aircraft. This image was also shared. The uploader doesn't say whether this is before or after the first video though. This one is from the 19th or 20th again, and it shows more trucks near the facility. And these ones look to be a bit more like you might expect to see carrying equipment out of the facility. These aren't open backed trucks and look to be a tad more specialised. Reuters said in an article released not long ago that Iran managed to remove and hide enriched uranium before the airstrike. These photos Possibly showing that that's in process, given the more specialised vehicles seen entering the facility. Now, I can't see everything important being evacuated in a couple of days. There's bound to have been some equipment, some important equipment, left in here. The centrifuges, for example, can feasibly be dismantled and removed by a truck, but it's tricky to do because of the base's depth and will take time. And I think it's unlikely Iran would have had enough time to do so but Reuters does say that the enriched uranium had already been removed. Here's another satellite image showing further construction work with a variety of trucks and other vehicles. 
It looks like this part is where they've been loaded with dirt to fill the holes in. At the bottom is what looked like could be defensive berms constructed, maybe for air defence systems. These may be new, so Iran planned to position a few S300s here for protection. But I think they know this base is going to get hit regardless, and I don't think they'd have S300s sat on top of it. So I think these are old and the S300s have been moved elsewhere prior to the strike. Or I guess it could be even unrelated to air defence entirely. Here's the facility's location in Iran overall. So that's it for this video. Hope you found it interesting. Now I'm going to play two videos from Cars for Ukraine about the ongoing fundraiser for the summer to buy vehicles for Ukraine. Thanks very much and take care everybody. We are soldiers uh, of the 48th Special Task Unit for operating the Southern Combat Region. We, uh, we need 4 by 4 vehicles uh, for our logistic supply and performing combat operations. Therefore, we are kindly ask cars for Ukraine and uh, to help us with uh, purchasing, refitting and delivering these vehicles to us and welcome uh, YouTubers Sokomimus, Hard Treasure and others in their esteemed communities to join this fundraising so we could carry on our combat missions that you will hear in the news about. Glory to Ukraine! Slava Ukraine! Heroes Slava! We are the members of 6th Special Operations Detachment of Defense and Intelligence of Ukraine, currently conducting special operations at land and sea. We require vans and pickup trucks to conduct logistics and uh, evacuate casualties. We are asking communities of uh, YouTube channels The Silicon Curtain and The Fields and other YouTubers and the people uh, with their media to help us with the fundraiser uh, as well as the organization Car for Ukraine to de deliver it. Uh,